All right, in this demonstration, I'm going to show how to add different strokes and lines and uh, I guess movement with uh, using a palette knife. Um, I just finished this, his jacket for this musician and now I'm going to do his face. Usually when I paint a face for my signature jazz pieces, I just use, use um, a regular uh, red oxide for the color, just kind of neutral color. I like to start off light on this side and work my way in to make it dark on the on the right side. What I'm going to show you, I thought I add the texture to it. I'll show you. Let me get his hand to the other hand right here. And this is semi abstract. I'm going to add another value, a little bit darker than the one before. And I'm going to add. A little bit darker. Line it up just a little bit. And I'm going to show you just how you can just make movements with the hands and stuff and the fingers, like just show suggestions using the palette knife. See, so, yeah, I'm making this finger kind of curve over like he's playing it. Again, we're not trying to go for for perfection, but you get the idea. And right here, I just love doing this. Make this back part a little bit lighter. But turn your knife upside down and just, you know, make strokes. And this just kind of get movement and a little different dimension to your form of your object that you're painting. And that's it. Again, you see the texture and you see some of the line movements and stuff. And that's the cool thing about using the palette knife. So much you can do with it. Get a little black to outline the space. A lot of artists wouldn't do this outline. I love it. But who's to say what's right and wrong when it comes to art? There are principles, of course, but. So what if I outline it in black? <laughs> My professor would hate that I do this, but not in school anymore, so. <laughs> Add a little movement on the uh, instrument. And lines and strokes. And that's it. Hope you guys like that. Again. Thanks for watching.